Hey, what's up everyone? This is Todd with Film Bodega. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use our 6K fog assets inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So I've got this little example text slate here, just basic trailer text coming soon. And you know, I, I think it could use a little bit more atmosphere. So uh, I've gone ahead and brought in all of our fog assets here. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of go through them and based on what the title is, sort of get an idea of what we're looking for. So subtle, subtle would be kind of cool for something like this, I think. So we have everything ranging from subtle all the way to like a full sort of heavy fog background. Uh, and obviously you can kind of play with whatever you're sort of looking for there. Um, so real quick, what I always do anytime I'm making any sort of layered graphic type thing in Premiere is we're gonna right click, select nest. And let's just call this coming soon title. Now we have this sort of nested unit that we can move around. So if you're an After Effects user, this is very similar to a pre-comp or something like that. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and just click into our title here. And so here we have, you know, kind of our basic little title animation coming soon. So uh, let's find some nice, uh, I think subtle is going to be the way to go here. So this comp is actually going to be 1920 by 1080. These elements were shot in 6K. So as you can see, this fog element is much too large for the scene. So we're gonna right click, choose set to frame size. And what that's gonna do is resample this footage to the scale of our sequence. Now, after we've scaled it down, you can see we still can't really see the text behind the fog there. And that's because we need to use an overlay mode or a blend mode. So if you go to effect controls with your footage layer selected, you'll see all of these options here one of them being this opacity drop down, and you might have to just click on this to drop it down. And here we have a lot of options. So we'll go to the blend mode drop down here, and you'll see all of these different things. Now you could get creative with some of these, like overlay, hard light, all those kind of things, maybe with different looks. But in cases like these, you're kind of looking at two different options. If you want a natural look, you'll go with screen. And if you want something with a little bit more punch, you'll use add. It won't really make a difference in this scene because we have a black background but um, I'm gonna go ahead and choose screen. So here we go. Now we've got this kind of nice looking coming soon animation with just a little bit of fog. Now let's say we wanted this fog to, to look exactly like that, but we only wanted it to be around the text. Well, what we do then is we'd use the pen tool in the opacity tab here, and let's just draw a little mask, okay? So we're just gonna draw a little mask kind of in a circular shape around our text, and we can be as you know specific or unspecific as we want with that. Um, but I'm, I'm gonna just kind of do this sort of weird little shape here. But now I'm gonna go ahead and just feather that out a whole lot, something like that. And so now we have kind of a nice little vignetted look with some fog. You'll see now we kind of have this like big gray sort of circle around our text. So we wanna start controlling some of that. So with our fog layer selected, I'm gonna drag in a Lumetri color effect. So the way that I always like to change opacities for uh, overlay elements like this is by using a curves adjustment. You could just drag opacity down, but in my opinion, that doesn't look quite as natural. So using a curves adjustment will kind of preserve a little bit more of the natural fall off between the highlights and the dark areas of your image. So you could just drop down the curves and just drag right here in the middle and boom. See, now we're kind of getting a little bit more of a natural sort of fade down. Now what I would probably do in this case, because I, I do like these little wispies right here, these little brighter kind of wispies. That's what that's that's what we call those wispies. So I'm gonna I'm gonna actually add a point here at the top to kind of preserve some of that, maybe even punch it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna grab down here at the bottom and we'll pull that down. Okay. So now look, now we're getting kind of a cool sort of subtle effect. And let's say we wanted these to not just be white normal fog we wanted it to be like green, like let's go like Ghostbusters-y with it or something. Boom. So you can just click right into the uh, green channel here on your curves adjustment, just make it super green. Or like, let's say we're doing like an underwatery kind of horror film. So we can do like, you know, add some blue in, maybe uh, pull a little bit of the green out and then, um, and then, you know, just pull out like red. And then we got kind of a blue sort of thing. So it's like, you know, creepy underwater stuff. And then let's just drag in something else like Fog Nebula. This one's kind of cool looking. Drag it in, we'll kind of trim it up. Again, right click, set to frame size. And let's just sort of start playing with the opacity of this one. Um, let's make this one super, super subtle. So I'm gonna 
kind of come down here, take the high point really down low, something like that. Kind of crush it down. Okay, so now we've got a real subtle kind of little hit down here, a little bit of filling in right here. And uh, there we go. Now we've got a nice little moody scene with a little bit of atmosphere. So as a quick before and after, this is our text before all that. And then here's our text after all that. Now we got a nice little kind of moody looking scene with some atmosphere. Uh, yeah, I think that looks pretty cool.